Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make gobo light textures in Blender. Let's get started. A gobo is an object placed inside or in front of a light source to control the shape of the emitted light and its shadow. So the light source emits a light with a texture that will serve as a mask. In computer graphics, gobos help simulate realistic lighting effects by allowing designers to control the shape and texture of light sources. Gobos is a great way to add realism to your 3D scenes. Let's learn how to create a simple gobo in Blender. Press the Z key to switch to Render Preview mode. Click on the Render Properties tab and make sure that Cycles is the active render engine as light textures are only supported by the Cycles render engine. Press Shift A and add a spotlight to the scene. Move the spotlight upward. Note that light textures are only supported by spotlights and point lights. Click on the green lamp icon and set the light power to 500 watts. You can rotate the spotlight by holding down the yellow point. Now, switch the timeline editor to the shader editor and enable the use nodes option so that we can see the nodes associated with the spotlight. We need a texture map, so go to the Add menu, select Texture, and add a wave texture. We'll be using only black and white texture data, so connect the factor node to the strength node. We also require texture mapping and texture coordinate nodes. Select the wave texture node and press Ctrl T. The nodes will be added automatically. If you're unable to add these nodes, go to the Edit menu, then Preferences. In the Add-ons tab, search for the Node Wrangler add-on and enable it. However, we still can't see the texture pattern. To fix this, we need to switch the texture coordinates type to Normal. There we go. We now have a light and shadow pattern. You can also scale the light texture by changing the spot size value. We can increase the power of the light. If you increase the radius value, you'll achieve a blurry shadow effect. Setting it to zero results in a sharp shadow effect. Additionally, you can change the light color. If you want to rotate the light pattern, adjust the Z rotation value of the mapping node. You can also scale the pattern using the scale node. All right. You can also add your custom texture. Let's delete the Wave Texture node and add an Image Texture instead. Connect the Vector node to the Vector Input and the Image to the Image node. Search for free Gobo Shadow Textures on Google. Gobo images typically have a white background and a black pattern and can be in JPEG or PNG format. Download the tree, Gobo image, and back to Blender. Click the Open button and browse for the downloaded image. Change the extension type to Clip and set the X and Y location values to 0.5 in the mapping node. That's it. You can also create a blurry shadow by increasing the radius value. Another exciting feature is the ability to use animated gobos. You can create animated gobos using various methods. If you have an animated gobo in MP4 video format, let's open the file in the image texture node. This time, the image source will be a movie clip. Set the frame number to determine how long you want the animation to play. Enable the auto refresh option. If you want to make it cyclic, enable the cyclic option. Press the space bar to play the animation. That's it. A super cool way to add more realism to your scene. Now, I'd like to introduce a Gobo collection. You'll find 207 ready-to-use, captivating, fixed, and animated gobos in 27 categories in this collection. The textures are in HD with a frame rate of 25 FPS. The videos last for 10 seconds and are loopable. 
These video textures will make your animations incredibly realistic, adding volume, depth, and realism to your scenes. These gobos are ready to use in Blender, and no add-on is needed thanks to the Asset Manager. Simply drag and drop the asset into your scene to bring it to life. You can customize it as you wish, and adjust the power of lighting, color, shadow blur, and the positioning of the light textures. You can get this unique Gobo collection by purchasing it from the Gumroad website. I will share the product link in the video description. Additionally, if you use the discount code provided in the video description, you'll receive an extra 20% discount. After purchasing the product, you can download the file in zip format. Unzip the file anywhere on your hard drive. Open a new Blender file in Blender 3.0 or later versions. Go to the Edit menu, then Preferences, and click on the File Path tab. In the Asset Libraries section, click the plus icon to add the Gobos Collection Library. Choose the Gobos Collection file and press the Enter key twice. This will add the Gobos Collection to the Asset Library. Switch the Timeline Editor to the Asset Browser. When you switch to the Gobos Collection, you can see all the categories. Now, switch to Render Preview Mode. Click on the Render Properties tab and ensure that Cycles is selected as the Render Engine. Go to the Windows category and choose any window texture. Just drag and drop the asset onto the ground. Move the spotlight up on the Z-axis and rotate the light texture as desired. There we go. That's super easy to use. We can also adjust the light texture. Switch the asset browser to the shader editor. We can rotate the texture by changing the Z rotation value of the mapping node. We can scale up the window texture. Set the X and Y scale values to 0.8. As you can see, it is an animated gobo. Hit the space bar to play the animation. It looks great. We can also adjust the power and color of the light, the blur of the shadow, and the size of the texture. Just click on the lamp icon. Set the power of the light to 1000 watts. We can adjust the blur of the shadow by changing the radius value. We can change the color of the light. We can also increase the spot size to have a bigger light texture. With these mesmerizing gobos, Blender users can achieve a higher level of visual sophistication, making their creations more captivating and immersive. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.